Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip for our main event of the evening. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Crawford's showing no concern for what's about to happen. This is a guy that is just relaxed and calm as could be for the task at hand as he makes his way down to the ring. The Dream's ring walk, not exactly full of fanfare or intensity. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Opening three minutes of this scheduled 12-rounder. I think most people would probably figure if we were to make a checklist of the advantages and disadvantages you want in a fighter, superior hand speed would definitely be a big advantage. But you've trained many a guy who's been up against a guy with better hand speed. What have you told them? Well, I've told them that that's only one dimension. That's only one thing. Turn that against them. Make it a kind of place where they can't use it. Good defensive skill with the block by the Dream. Way through round number one. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. And now a well-placed hook to the head. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science not just some raw savagery swinging out there look at the little subtleties here joe what he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch and then when he stops steps back makes a miss and comes right back you gotta watch the water in the corner too much You're letting this guy get away. Now, come on. This is it. You've got to make it a fight now. You can't just move around. you got to move your hands in there. All right, let's go. All right. Listen, you need to create more. Here we go. Round two is underway. Nice block by Blood. Mm. 
He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Blocking that punch. Very good defense by Blood. Blocks that blow, and then a counter uppercut. Halfway through round number two. Targeting a left hand down low. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Crawford's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Able to cover up that gut. He missed with that head shot. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Cut his movement off. Keep, keep counterattacking him, okay? When he throws, make him miss and count. All right, listen. You need to create more punches, okay? Slip his punch and throw us. Right down the middle. Yeah, we'll get him, we'll get him. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Get in your rhythm, okay? And round number three is underway. Not precise at all by blood. He gets tagged, but now a good shot by Blood. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Relax. Crawford's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Well, that's a smart fighter because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Well off the mark by the Dream. And he returns on that exchange. Blood's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. A well-placed left hand up top. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. The Dream's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is the block. Crawford shocked right there. He's all shook up after being hit hard. Both men have gotten to each other. And round three comes to an end. There you go. All right, deep breath now. Deep breath. Just relax. Relax. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just I need you to focus. Keep your... The Dream's ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to play. That's a big right hand. Right to the body. Bloods nailed! Not for patience, 
Yourself. Body shot lands. It was the right. You're not Crawford You're doing left. Great. Working well that time. He just missed that shot up top. Up cut. 90 seconds to go in round number four. That worked out really well. Throw it off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Use the jab. The Dreams combination punching is working well here. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the... The Dream stumbled back. He just got hurt. goes with a left hand. Hard to believe that they can keep up like that. One of those rounds that you just won't forget. Both guys able to land big punches on the other. Well, in the old days, they've been snapping one of those capsules under their nose, you know, smelling salt, ammonia capsules. Not allowed anymore. They want to wake them up, get them together. Now you got to dump a little water on them, send them out. Simple, okay. Keep it simple. You're making this harder than what it is. Focus from me. The Dream's recuperative powers are proving to be very strong right here. This is the start to the round he wanted to have coming off a round where he was clearly damaged. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Left and right, left and right, left and right. Not much action as he just ties up. The Dream's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Halfway into round number five here. Solid left hand to the head. Nowhere close that punch by blood. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Wow! Oh, big flush uppercut floors up. One, two, three, four, so now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Count down the final moments of this round. Jerkly, keep jerkly, don't stand in front of him. Listen, he's done. He's done. I'm gonna double up on him. Got any more of these? All right, breathe. Good. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some water in you. We got it. You're good. You all right? You okay, right? Breathe for me. Right. Now listen, you threw a wide punch and he caught you. You're tighten up your punches, all right?
The Dreams gets a chance at redemption here with a fresh round. But, Teddy, I'm always concerned as to how a fighter looks after he's been knocked down in the last round. Well, it depends how much experience he has. And he has enough experience to handle this, to kind of shake it off, get himself together, and move forward. Great job of protecting himself. He's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing... It has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Pace yourself. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Blood. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Scored well with that straight left. Nice work with the jab by the Dream. Keep moving. holding Crawford's crushed by a big right hand nice block by blood working our way towards the bell last 10 seconds of the sixth We've reached the halfway point of this battle. Real good fight here. Tough to get a sense of who's really up. I could see making an argument for either guy, but that's a testament to both guys and what they've been willing to bring to this battle tonight. Yeah, what it's a testament to, Joe, is that it's an enjoyable fight. After a while, you don't even concentrate on who's up. All you know is you're enjoying every bit of it. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. You see him holding on. Oh, and a crushing hook just gets right to him. Another clinch. Oh, and there you go. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? One, two, three, four, five. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but... If he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. And he ties up on the inside. Halfway through the seventh round. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? He took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Comes across with a hook up top. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. Get in there, let's go. The Dream's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Relax. Relax. Doing great. 
Keep the pressure on him. Keep it on him. No need to get excited. You're doing fine. Make him. How you doing? You keep your hands up. Don't worry now, right? I just I need you to focus and keep your hands up. Keep working the jab, okay? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You okay? Good. I need you to use your feet, all right? Move around the ring more. This is going to be an interesting finish here as we start round number eight. Crawford's up on your scorecard, Teddy, but it's a close fight. The ringside judges could have it any which way. Yeah, and that's what you got to worry about. But the fighter, he can't worry about that. He has to just keep pressing forward, doing the things he trained to do, the things that he knew, or at least he thought, would work for him. The dream swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Teddy, what's the one thing that shows you a fighter like this is recovered? That a guy who was just knocked down in the last round now comes out for the next round and is fine. Well, the first thing I look at is, does he behave the way that he normally behaves? You know, is he a guy that all of a sudden starts running at his opponent and that's not his kind of style? That tells me he's still hurt. <laughs> that tells me he's still a little drunk. The halfway point of round number eight. Didn't get it done going to the body there. down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. And Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. You don't need that. No, throw that away. to action here at the start of this round which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight one of those fights that's going to be very hard to score and a power shot lands and all of a sudden it turns the tables a little slow with that jab and he got caught the right hand guard up Little head hunting with the left. Work the body, kid. Body shots. There you go. Look at good. Look good. Not able to land the head shot. The dream's missing punches here. Now. Hard charging with that right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. That's it. Watch the hook. A big hook to the head by Blood. well up top oh that uppercut got him badly oh boy he is stunned badly he is staggered and hurt and could go down Teddy 
What do you got to be yelling for encouragement if you're the corner? Well, if it was a baseball game, I'd be yelling for rain <laughs> right now. I, I want this stop. But what he has to really get is a way to clinch. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. End of the round, around, end of the round, around, I do believe that he was able to take. But his opponent is there stride for stride. This is going to be a close fight. Teddy, where do you have him on the scorecards? Is he up? I, yeah, I have him slightly ahead. But as you said, very close fight. And the kind of fight where you let up for a moment, you're going to lose it. You got to land a big punch now. No doubt about it. You are losing this fight. You need to throw and land a big shot. Facing off again to start another round in a fight in which they've introduced each other time and time again, swapping leather. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Accurate with a straight left. Carries that punch away. A solid, true uppercut by Crawford. Double him up. The Dream's punch is far off the target. I can imagine throughout your career, you've been all over a lot of fighters for lack of movement. Yeah, it's very, very frustrating because you start to wonder, does he want to win the fight? That's what you start to wonder. Halfway through this round. The Dream's right hand scores well. Uppercut. Nice! Keep working the jab. Well timed by the dream. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Good return fire that time. Hello. Come on. Relax, relax. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Counting down towards the end of the 10th round. 10 seconds to go. Three minutes gone by in this round. You can only win by knocking them out now. Deep breaths. Deep breath now. Let it in. Take it in. Let it out. Let's... Nice work. Nice work. You're doing well. There you go. Championship rounds have arrived. These are these moments, these little moments that determine everything. They've gotten this far. Crawford's in good control. He's got a slight lead on your scorecard, but at this point, anything can happen. Yeah, well, the one thing that shouldn't happen is that he changes anything. He doesn't go into that prevent defense you see in the NFL. Just keep doing, don't get careless, but keep doing what you're doing. Stay alert, stay defensively minded and responsible, but keep pumping that jab. Turns over that hook upstairs. Blood's locked in on that target with the hook. Why so easy, Teddy? Why is he making this look so easy with that Well, punch? first of all, his opponent's standing right there in front of him, and his opponent's not really an inside fighter, so he's having a ball right now. You see how he comes over the top with that left hand? Well-placed shot there. Come on, kid. Focus. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by the Dream. He clinches when he gets to the inside. I want to see some combo. You need to keep the head moving. Pace yourself. Head body, head body. Come on, come on, come on. Good 
flush shot by Blood. Get him, get him. Wow, what an uppercut. Nothing there on the punch by the Dream. Ten seconds remaining in this round. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive, you know that he had a good throw round. Throw more punches. That'll keep him away. It is the final round. Here they go. Nice block by Blood. The Dream's right hand scores well that time. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Blood's defense has been just unbelievable tonight. I mean, Teddy, he takes such appreciation seeing a guy putting forth his craft like this. Yeah, you do, and that's why he's able to have such a long career. That's why he's able to be, you know, so consistently good, because he doesn't take a lot. He doesn't get worn out. He's fresh. Keep working the body. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Halfway through this 12th and final round. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep working. Jeff. Double up. Double up your punch. An accurate left by Blood. <laughs> just a minute to go in this bout. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Keep doing what you're doing. And they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. Nice work. Well, you should have your judge's license taken away if you don't see this one the obvious way, Teddy. If one of these judges dare go another direction with this, I want their picture up on a post office board. The most wanted poster. Yes, sir. Now, right now, what we want is to hear those obvious scorecards, so let's send it up to the ring. So all three judges give him the victory. A very good night by blood. I don't think it was ever a question of who. It was always going to be how. Knockout or decision. We get a good decision here. I'm Joe Tessitore for Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us and enjoy the rest of your night.